You want to first go to the Ask Ziggy portal and create an application. Then make sure that the application has been trained. And then move to the deployment page. In the deployment page, we're going to download the trained model. Once that has been downloaded, we're going to move to Help, then Local Android Documentation. The Android Local Documentation page contains a link to download the Android library and usage instructions on how to initialize and use the library. I'm going to go ahead now and download the library. After it's downloaded, I'm going to make sure I have everything I need for development. I have the library file and my trained model file. I'm going to extract the library file and then move to development. Now in development, make sure that the library file has been included into your project and that the library file is inside the build path. Make sure your trained models are included into the project. I put them in the raw folder. You can include them into the assets folder if you wish. Now that the trained model is included in your project and you have referenced the library file, you initialize the input stream to the model. Then initialize the engine with that input stream. And now the engine is ready for queries. Now you see when I run the application, I can put queries in. And I'll get results just like the portal.